let's talk about the art of storytelling and marketing storytelling in uh, specific terms to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And one of the fastest, easiest ways to connect with, engage, and compel potential customers and turn them into lifelong raving fans and brand advocates is through storytelling. Now, uh, this isn't anything new. People have been telling stories for all of time and all eternity, and it's because they are the most effective way for people to remember and connect with a story, a thing, a cause, a brand, your brand, your products and services. There's three types of stories that are really, really popular because they engage the emotions and again, our purpose with our marketing message is to, number one, inform people of what we have to offer, but also to make them aware that we even exist. And we do that through three different types of stories. And there's more, of course, but these are three of the most popular. Tales of Triumph, uh, Journey of Transformation is almost every movie that you ever watch has a one of these three, uh, or actually the good movies that we watch and we love and feel connected to, has one of these three type storyboards that they're based on or story frameworks. And then finally, a narrative of perseverance. Why? Because we all love the underdog and we all love the person that has the ability to change and create the thing that they want in their life. And that's what we want to do with our customers for our products and services. We want to connect them emotionally and show them that they can change and get the results they want by using our products and services or being associated with our company as well. So what are some examples of this? We all know famous examples of, of different storytelling brands. Think of Coca-Cola, Nike, uh, Apple. They all do an incredible job in their own way of connecting to and using emotion. You know, think AT&T. Remember the old telephone commercials? Uh, almost any brand that's had a super successful story or jingle uh, has used one of these stories and one of these strategies, or many of these stories and many of these strategies. Nike uses uh, stories of athletes overcoming triumph and challenge and builds on resiliency and the ability to achieve an incredible result, even though there have been hardships and, and challenges along the way. Uh, Coca-Cola ties us to happiness. And, you know, remember that, the uh, what was it, the world, I can't remember the song, but there was a song, geez, I don't remember what decade it was in now, but there was a song that went all around the world uh, connecting people to Coca-Cola. Coke wants us to be happy and enjoy the experience. I think they say open happiness is one of their taglines over time. And Apple, of course, crafts innovation and human connection and being in the leading edge of different technologies. And they tell our story and they tell it in a different way than Nike's narrative and Coke's building on emotion and happiness. They show it to us in very short, very creative ways of presenting their stories. Uh, so the power of emotional connection, we don't want to ever underestimate that. It's really at the heart of effective storytelling, right? If we can't tap into the emotions that resonate with our customers or potential customers, we're not going to reach them. They're not going to remember us. So what is the framework or what are some ways to leverage storytelling. I'm going to share five quick things. I'm going to try to be quick uh, with you that we want to make sure we include in our storytelling, whatever format we decide to use. Number one, we want to know our audience, know our customers, what's important to them, what is going to resonate with them, what are their pain points, their desires, their preferences, their uh, uh, aspirations? What are their values? We want to link to those in order for our message to be something that they can relate to. Number two, we want to uh, be authentic. Now, if you can't be authentic, if you're not feeling authentic and honest and trustworthy in your messaging, people are not going to believe it, right? If you don't really connect to the values and the emotions that you're sharing in the presentation, then people are not going to buy it for long. They'll buy it for the short term, but they won't necessarily buy it for long. So make sure that you're authentic and you find something that you can relate to, but your customers can as well that you have in common. Number three, create emotional resonance. Find some emotion to stir in your clients or potential customers. Number four, be consistent. Make sure that you align your brand, your brand, your brand identity with your messaging and be consistent over time. You know, Coca-Cola always has a, a happy, positive, joyful message in their stories and in their advertising. Your Nike 
pretty much always has a consistent theme running through their brand, you know, just do it. Just do it means no matter what your challenges are, just go out and take action and do it. Uh, and then finally, five, encourage engagement. You have to find ways to have a dialogue with the people that you're trying to reach. Why? Because they'll tell us everything we need to know if we just ask and listen. And that tells us what messages, what stories are hitting, what stories are impacting them, what stories do they resonate with, what helps them to feel attached and connected to our our business and our brand. Because once they do that, they'll not only become repeat customers, they will become actual advocates for our business by sharing it with other people. And that's kind of the holy grail of marketing, right? We want people talking about our brand, our business, our company in positive ways and bringing other people to us. All right, that's it. Love to know your take on this. Do you tell stories as part of your marketing and promotion for your business? If so, tell us what form you use of storytelling or what emotions you tap into and any lessons that you've learned along the way. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow with another strategy for supersizing and growing your business.